Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it. Hey guys, Joe and I coming in with another battle replay here on Total War Rome 2. Welcome back to the land of sieges. We do have a 3v3 siege on the settlement of Petra. Town center for Petra is right up over here. Battle is getting pretty close there. Looks like the attackers may be getting ready to come inside. So we're going to go over the army compositions here really quickly. Let's take a look at the defenders. First, we will take a look at Egypt being commanded by Bricks Legend. And he has brought six units of Thorax Swordsmen, five carrying Axemen, one of those being his general, three carrying uh, Galatian Swordsmen, sorry, one Egyptian Infantry, three Cretan Archers, one Nubian Bowman. Then we do have a Pontus here being commanded by Honey Badger, and he has brought seven Pontic Swordsmen, one of those being his general, four Mercenary Celtic Warriors, three Thoreos Spears, one Bronze Shield Pikemen, four Eastern Archers, and one Cappadocian Cavalry. And then we do have a Nabatea in here as well. Nabatea being commanded by Hyena, and he has brought three units of armored desert hoplites, one Rakim Palace Guard. General is a Nabataean Noble Cavalry. He also has three scythe chariots and four units of the Nabataean Heavy Archers. Getting out onto the attackers who are all pretty much blobbed up together here. Looks like they will... Look at the walls. Wow. A lot of damage to the walls there. Big breach. That's a huge breach. Uh, but yeah, let's take a look at the attackers. We will start off here with our Verney being commanded by Pedro Sor. And he has brought nine units of Chosen Swordsmen, five Celtic Warriors, one Levy Freeman. General is an Osworn. And we did see two units of the Gallic Hunters. Yep, there they are. Two units of Gallic Hunters right there up close to the wall. Then we will take a look at Seleucid here being commanded by Boss Prophet. And he has brought seven units of Thorax Swordsmen, two Thoreo Spears, two Silver Shield Swordsmen, one of those being his general, one Hillman, four Syrian Archers, and one Giant Ballista. And then we do have an Arvaki being commanded by Marketable Skills. He is a Twitch Total War guy. We'll put his link in the description below. But again, Marketable Skills here commanding Arvaki. He has brought five units of Skatari, three Iberian Swordsmen, two Noble Fighters. Sorry, three Noble Fighters. One of those being his general, two Painted Warriors, one Iberian Spearman, four units of the Iberian Skirmishers, and a Giant Ballista. So, all right. Let's see. Are we getting ready to come in? Artillery is still firing away here. Looks like the Seleucid artillery is now starting to fire at actual men. Uh, he's got 10 kills so far. The Arvaki artillery here with 21. Doesn't look like he's firing anymore, though. Or maybe he's just holding his shot for now. Uh, we do have some Gallic Hunters here over on the side. Starting to get some shots in. Firing in onto some Thorax Swords. We're getting some kills. Celtic Warriors there. The Armored Desert Hoplites here. Let's see what's going on over that side. We got a chariot unit outside over there. The Nabataean Noble Cavalry General is outside. Cappadocian Cavalry is outside. Chariot back over there. Where is that third chariot? There he is. He's sitting right there. Okay. Just want to make sure that I know where all of the chariots, the possible massive damage dealing units are. Oh, there's the other two units of Galax. Okay. So all four units now of the Gallic Hunters have shown their face. Uh, Pontus here, only getting one kill. They are firing. Gallic Hunters are firing up. They're going to get into these carrions. Yeah? No? Galatians. They're going to fire into the Galatian swordsmen. Not a bad idea. Killed 40 of them so far. Wow. That's another volley. Just murdering them down. Wow. Down to 95. Another 25 men dead out of that volley. Let's see how these guys are doing. 51, 24, 0, and 0. So these two units have still yet to fire. But, oh, look at this. Pontus, mercenary Celtic warrior, sneaking on out. He's going to chase those guys away. We do have some Celtic warriors for Arverni. Going to make their way over here and stop that. They get it. Oh, they did get a javelin volley off, though. Killed 10 of them. Wow, that's actually impressive. 11 out of that unit, 10 out of that unit. That's crazy. Are they still going out there? They are. Mercenary Celtic Warriors still charging out here for Pontus, but never mind. Chosen Swordsman in the way. We also have a unit of Iberian Swordsmen making their way over here as well. So this battle has definitely exploded here. Celtic Warriors uh, closing in the... I'm sorry, Thorax Swordsman closing the distance there. Uh, we do have some more of the Gallic Hunters here. These are the units that were damaged. Down to 76 men. Wow. Not entirely sure what did all that damage to them, but... Uh, we do have a tower over here that is absolutely on fire. Good thing that the Levy Freeman did climb down just as it's getting ready to fall down. We got 86%. Let's just wait. I like watching towers fall down. I like in the room too when the towers burn down. Let's see, is he gonna take damage? 
Uh, no. No damage. No damage. They're still getting shot, though. Arrow towers are still shooting at them. How many men are there? 142. Okay. All right, let's see. Nothing really pressing in yet so far for the attackers. We actually... Oh, Nebati General. He was trying to get over there. I think he was going in. Oh, the Cappadocian Cavalry came over here as well. Looked like they were going to try and get into these Gallic Hunters, but decided against it. Cappadocian's still going for it, though. I think they are still going for it. We have some Chosen Swordsmen for Arverni making their way over here. Going to spread out their line. Gonna, yeah, they're going to chase them away. Another tower here getting ready to come down for the attackers. Here we go. Finally, Arverni coming through the wall. Starting to neutralize up this tower. That is definitely going to be good. Got some Thorax Swordsmen there for Egypt. Also some Thoreo Spears for Pod just making their way forward. There they go. Javelins coming in onto these Celtic Warriors. Thorax Swords. Oh, oh, oh my god. That Thorax Swordsman unit just took a massive, massive volley of Javelins. Holy crap. That was a lot. That was really a lot of guys that died. Holy crap. Look at all that Thorax Swordsman there that just died. That's crazy. But battle underway. Melee underway here. Thorax Swordsman. And the Celtic Mercenary Celtic Warriors of Pontus taking on some Celtic Warriors there from Arverni so far inside the walls. Oh, wait. What happened there? What happened there? Thorax just fell back. Oh, they formed into shield wall, allowing this Celtic Warrior unit to get over here now. Wow. Arverni is definitely being aggressive here. We do have some Iberian swordsmen from... Arvaki inside the settlement now here as well. Some more of the Iberian swords are making their way in. Three more units, two more units of uh, the Iberian swords are coming in. Archer fire still just pouring in here. 99 kills from this Gallic Hunter unit. This one here with 45. Anything from the cavalry? No, they're still just, just kind of hanging out over there for now. Chariots still all in the same position that they were. Oh, actually, one of the side chariots went to the back gate over there by the carrying axeman general from Egypt. But front line is starting to break down. Thorax swordsmen have been routed off of the battlefield. Iberian swordsmen now freed up to continue pressing in. We actually have some of the uh, Celtic warriors over here now as well. Taking what just happened here. Celtic warriors to Thoreo. What? How did the Thoreo spears just? Well, I guess they kind of. I don't know. Very weird. That was a very weird thing that just happened there. But Iberian swordsmen on one side, Celtic warriors on the other side. This Thoreo Spear unit is not going to last a whole lot of time. Sounds like we got a lot of archers fired. Yeah, Nabatee and archers there. 100 kills. Wow. Nicely done. Very nicely done there. Gallic Hunters here, 142. They're doing very, very well as well. Oh, we got a chariot coming. Single chariot coming around. They are visible. They are visible. See what the what the attackers are going to do. We do have two units of noble fighters here for Arvaki facing in that direction. Nabatine General still outside. Cappadocian Cavalry going back inside. Okay. All right. Now we got the Armor Desert Hoplites over here. They should be able to hold for a while. If they get into the hoplite wall, they will be able to hold for a decent amount of time. But oh no! Iberian swordsman finding a hole and get oh no! Cretan archers sacrificing themselves. I don't think that was on purpose. Oh, I think that was an accident. Iberian swordsman now taking on these Cretan archers, but they are getting shot. Oh yeah, Nabatee and heavy archers, perfect angle right there, firing away. More of the Pontus archers here firing. So there you go. Iberian Swords with 128, 129 kills. They did a pretty good amount of damage. 75, 70, I'm sorry, 77 units, 77 men left in that Cretan Archer unit. There we go. Wow. That was a little difficult to say, but there are chariots. Chariots. Oh, no. 19 kills getting into the Seleucid Archers. Oh, that is rough. Already over 150 kills, and he's still going. Full units still just plowing their way through. Now getting... Is he going to get into Arverni as well? He is. Four, 500 kills. Holy crap. 
still a full unit. 651 kills. Getting into the Arverni force here. 700. No, what is going on here? Oh my god. He Oh, the other there's another chariot over here too. Where did that one come from? Maybe he came out that side gate there. What is this one at? Hold on a second. 1100 kills. The other chariot here starting to pick up numbers 357. Jesus Christ. What is this one up to now? 1219 kills. 1223. Is he going to get away? Is he going to get away? He did. He got away, and the other chariot unit now coming inside the settlement, into the back of the attacking units. Oh my god. 1295. He's definitely going to break third. Come on, five kills. You need five kills, four kills, bud. Come on. Chariots over here. This one's taking a lot of damage, so he's already down to four chariots left. How many kills did he get? 509. Wow. This chariot here, 1296. Oh, come on. Oh, wow. That was painful. That was really painful. Holy crap. Look at all of the dead. From that first unit of chariots. Got so many kills. Almost 1,300 kills. Holy crap, guys. That's, that's insane. That is an insane amount of kills. This chariot unit's still here. 586, 587, still going. I think they're finally dead. Yeah, that was the final one. Wow. So that's about 1,800 kills between two units so far. And he still has another chariot over here. Oh, no. Yeah, the attackers are kind of all over the place here now. Balance power has definitely shifted in favor of the attackers. Cappadocian Cavalry over here now? Yeah, Cappadocian Cavalry is actually charged in as well. They've only gotten two kills so far. But the defenders are really starting to hold up the lines here. Armor Desert Hoplites, actually, I just saw this one. Not looking too good. Down to 74 men, 100 kills. Uh, this unit is charging forward, which I would not really fully recommend. Because this Arverni unit could come through there and get into the side of them. Wow. Wow. Still, I'm... <laughs> I wish you guys could see my face. The chariots just ripping through all of those archers. That was an amazing play. Absolutely amazing play. What is going on over here? What are we shooting at? What are they shooting at? You realize that's your teammates, right? What are you sh Why are you shooting over here, bud? What are they sh I don't know what they were shooting at. Oh, there was a unit there. Oh. That's a bad guy. Gotcha. Okay. Weird. I guess the uh, Padres player left his auto-fire on. But uh, let's see. Artillery still firing? No. No, I could have sworn I just heard artillery shooting. Maybe I didn't. I thought I did. But all right, back inside the settle here. Armored Desert Hoplites starting to get run over. We do have another unit of Armored Hoplites right there. Eastern Archers swinging their way front forward up to the front line here. 41 kills so far for them. Balance of Power is kind of edging back a little bit. A little bit in favor of the... Well, more towards the even, not but not in favor of the, the attackers. Starting to get a little bit more into the favor of the attackers, though. Here comes that Nabatee Noble General. He is moving forward. He's looking hungry. Oh, he stopped. Okay. I wasn't sure if he was going to try and get into the, all those archers there. Cappadocia Cavalry still sitting over here, though. they got seven kills, 63 left in the unit, and they're not looking good. They're in melee defense is down. Get out of that diamond formation, bud. Your melee defense is negative. Don't need the charge bonus anymore. Cappadocia Cavalry is just getting murdered, though. Ooh, Nabatean, he's, he's, he's inching. He's inching forward. He's just showing him. Hey, he's right, I'm right here. I'm right here. Nice little feints. Nice little feints. All right, back over here. Let's see what's going on. The defenders are starting to crumble down just a little bit. We do have a unit of our Chem Palace Guard over here, not in their hoplite formation. So they will not get that bonus towards their melee defense. But it does look like they're holding pretty well against the shooting of Thorax Swordsman at the moment. 213 on Thorax. Oh, wow. Very nice. Very, very nicely done. Oh, that Thorax Swordsman unit has now broken. There you go. 
Oh, they're wavering at least. Another unit charging in here. 33 of them left in this unit with only 16 kills. They took damage. That was Chariot. That was Chariot Thorax right there. I, I still cannot get over the amount of damage that that one Chariot unit did. Ripping the Seleucid Archers in half. Then getting into the, Ar the Harverni army. Wow. So much damage was done there. Cappadocian Cavalry still hanging out up in the front line. I would not still have them there. I mean, they're fighting a unit that's in shield wall, so it doesn't really matter all that much. They're Actually, they're attacking them from behind. So they might actually be killing more of the uh, Chosens than they're dying. Nabatean Heavy Archers over here, 42, 45 kills, starting to fire into the meat of the attacking forces. Chosen Swordsman here, Chosen Swordsman, Iberian Swordsman still around. Chosen Swordsman making their way over here. Looks like they're going to try and squeeze through this gap here. Definitely is a good opportunity there. They do have some units of archers here that maybe they can try and chase down or at least have them stop firing at the moment. But another unit of, uh, look at this, Nabatean Heavy Archers right there. Oh, I thought, yeah, they have, they have 33 kills. I thought they were still firing. That's the tower that's firing there. Chosen, I mean, Thorax Swordsman, get on through, bud. Get on through there. More Skatari over here, 67 kills for the Skatari, taking on a very, very tough unit as we've seen before, Armored Desert Hoplites. 11 kills, they've lost 15 men so far. They can hold, they can definitely hold for a while. We have, you, you can't say that they can't. They will definitely hold for a decent amount of time. Uh, Nabatean Heavy Archers here, 50 kills. Eastern Archers with 87. Where is that other chariot? I, I'm so wanting to see what this chariot, this the last unit of chariots is going to do. Abadoshi Cavalry is really not doing very well at all. I, don't, I still don't know why they're in here. Very confusing with Cappadocian Cavalry there. Oh, what was that? What artillery is firing? I don't know what artillery is firing. Oh, it's the uh, Arvaki one here still firing away. Okay. Looks like he's manually firing. Yeah, he is manually firing. Shooting way back over here, firing into these archers. There you go. Just knocked one. I saw a guy fall down. How did that not kill anybody? Definitely watch the dude fall down. Oh, there we go. 15. So he killed five. Five on that volley. Another shot coming in, getting into the Eastern Archers of Pontus. Oh, there goes another one. Missed that one, unfortunately, though. Joseph Swordsman here starting to exhaust their javelins, firing in onto a unit of Rakim Palace Guard. 74 kills. Look at that melee defense. 83. Oof. Nice. Very, very nice melee defense there. The Armored Desert Hoplite still holding over on this side. 69 Giggity Melee Defense. Very good. The Nabateen General still kind of just hanging around outside. Waiting. I think all the Nabateen... He's either being a distraction or he's just waiting for an opportunity. Really, really being very, very careful and waiting for an opportunity to get in there and get some kills. The attackers, unfortunately, their attack for the most part has been stopped. But I'm waiting. They will start moving forward again. I'm wondering why. I mean, these are all Eastern Archers. They're at, they still have ammo. The attackers need to press. Get into these Archers. Push them back again at least. These guys all still have ammo here. They do. All of those Archers still have ammo. I wonder why the attackers aren't moving forward. Here we go. Okay, so Arverni's starting to press in over on that side. Now he's chasing. Okay. Joseph Swordsman chasing these units of Archers away. Maybe he just didn't want to get trapped. Maybe he didn't want to get cut off. But I mean, the archers, the, the longer they were standing there, they were able to get shots off. So now that they're in motion, they can't fire while running. It's too bad the attackers don't have any cavalry. If they had cavalry, that would have been a really bad situation. Really bad situation, because those archers would have been dead. Depending on what cavalry they had, at least. Those, those, those archers would have definitely been dead. Ah, uh, but yeah, 
Massive damage again. I'm going back to the chariots, guys, back at the beginning or near the beginning. That was absolutely insane. 1,300 kills by a unit of chariots. The other unit of chariots, the second unit that we've seen so far, he was at 550 or somewhere near 600, I think. So 18 to 1,900 kills, two units of chariots is pretty beast. That is pretty nasty. Uh, with the amount of damage that they did to ranged units as well. That might be actually what's slowing the attackers push down here a little bit. They don't have as much ranged as they did to try and help support their attack. So that could definitely be a reason why their, their attack has slowed down to the point that it's at now. Bronze Shield Pikeman way over there. Pontic Swords way over there. Here we go. Oh, they got into him. Chosen Swordsman caught up to the Eastern Archers. 106 and 86. So I think they still had ammo left. Here we go. Noble Fighters now making their way in. That oh, Yeah, these Archer units are dead. These Archer units are dead. Chosen Swordsman, 253. Very nice. Look at that. Immediately. Immediately not happy. Chosen Swordsman going to pull out of that fight. What do we have coming this way? Got some skirmishers coming over here. The Iberian skirmishers making their way over here. They only have an 80 range, so it's a javelin unit. We'll have to see, though. We'll have to see what goes on. Noble fighters, though, definitely on the warpath. Slaughtering another unit of eastern archers, and they're going to keep on coming down. Keep on coming down the road. Maybe they can get into this Cretan archer unit as well. Only 14 kills. Oh, that's going to be a huge loss. They don't, I mean, they're already down to 35 men, but still... That would be a pretty big loss. Javelins. Oh. Ouch. Down to 17 now. So the attacker's actually making a big move here. Big move coming up to center street. Not defended. I mean, Pontus has a ton of swordsmen sitting right here, but they're not doing anything. Chariots are on the move again here now. Wonder where the chariots are going to go. Here we go. Pontic Swords were now starting to turn. Gonna maybe take on these uh these Thorax and Noble Fighters. Not sure. But the chariots are on their move again. Noble fighters here. Keep on pressing forward. Looks like they're chasing away. Chasing away this Nepotine Heavy Archer unit. But chariots on the move. Here we go, boys. Another unit of chariots. We're gonna zoom in on this one. We're gonna stay with this chariot unit as he goes. Come on. You can't charge forward like that and stop. Come on. There you go. Let's see where are they at. 18 kills. I mean, they're they're fire, they're they're taking on a lot of the uh, heavy infantry though. He might. This unit might not get as many kills. They're already starting to lose. They lost the chariot already. Maybe, though. Maybe if they... Oh, no. He's got speed. He's coming over here. Getting to the skirmishers. Getting against the chosen swordsmen. Thorax swordsmen, though, they're all forming into their shield walls, which is going to slow the chariots up. Basically, the chariots are going to hit a brick wall. Yeah, this one didn't do as well. Still 250 kills, though. Still going. Still going. Oh, is he going to get caught up on the artillery uh, equipment, I mean? Yeah, he's getting caught up on the equipment. That stinks. Still chari two chariots left, though. Here's one here. Still cutting through. 286. Where's the other one? The other one broke. Yeah, no, he's still going. 289, so they got three more kills so far. This chariot is still going, though. Yeah, he got through. He pulled all the way through that. What's he at? 295. So almost 300 on that one. Not bad. Not bad, but back over here, look at the attackers really picking up a lot of ground. A lot of ground. Now I'm wondering what Egypt's doing here. He's kind of just hanging out. Did he DC maybe? Did Egypt DC? I hope he didn't. Noble Fighters now surrounding a unit of the Armored Desert Hoplites. They are going to do a ton of damage. Almost 300 kills now. Really, really hammering down on this Armored Desert Hoplite unit. We have a unit of Pontic Swordsmen that actually just broke away from the fight. They were fighting this Noble Fighter unit, but they've made their way all the way over here. Going to charge in onto the Osworn General. Oh, no, they're not. I don't know what's going on. What is going on here with Pontus? Well, Osworn General 
crushing into that Pontic Swordsman unit. Noble Fighters still doing a good amount of damage to this uh, armored, armored uh, hoplite unit there, Desert Hoplites. But we got Javelins. Javelins! Pontic Swordsman, we're throwing their Javelins. We have Nabatee and Heavy Archers back there. Ooh, Noble. Ooh, 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 Chosen Swordsman. 324 getting into some of the more of the Nabatee and Heavy Archers here. Heavy Archers were able to fight that Chosen Swordsman unit off. But more Noble Fighters now making their way over here. And this Heavy Archer unit is probably going to die pretty quickly. Thorax Swordsman over here blasting into the Pontic Swordsman line. Noble Fighter, I'm sorry, not Noble Fighters, the uh, Arverni Osworn General, 31 kills, backing off from the fight. The Painted Warriors routing a unit of the Armored Desert Hoplites. Still a decent amount of force back here. Got the Rayo Spears, Thorax Swordsman, Silver Shield Swordsman back here still. I think one, there's one unit. I don't know where the other unit is. Maybe they're over here. So there they are. Silver Shield Swordsman making their way. Yeah, what is going on? Egypt, did he... I, okay, they're walking right past him. Egypt must have DC'd. He must have DC'd there. Nabatia looks like he's the only one that's moving. I mean, Pontus had that one Swordsman unit that kind of moved up here, but is this like a 3v1? I'm not entirely sure what's going on here, but here I do know this. Here comes the Nabatia Noble Cavalry General. Finally, looks like he might have found his, his avenue to get in somewhere. Nope, he's coming back inside the settlement. And he's just going to form up over here. I thought he was going to go back inside. Yeah, Pontus General still sitting over here. The Egypt's General still sitting over there. Egypt's unit's still kind of hanging out. Above. I'm, I think this became a 1v3. Because I'm, I'm not really seeing Pontus move very much anymore. It's still a brutal fight, though. Painted Warriors making their way through over here. Looks like they're going to try and capture up this. Noble Fighters back over here capture up this rear tower. Not a bad idea. But yeah, the attackers, this definitely is uh, massively... The attackers are doing a pretty good job breaking through here now. Bounce power is not in their favor, but still... The defending armies aren't moving. Like, Egypt isn't moving. Pontus is not moving any of his swordsmen. What do we have over here? Thoreo Spears hanging out. Yeah, the, if any of you guys that were in this battle watch this video, please feel free to let me know. Did 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 defender units, defending generals, DC, like did they leave the battle? Silver Shield Swordsman General now charging in onto this Thorax Swordsman unit. This is the town center right here, guys. Right there. Again, I'm going to put the smiley face in it again here. That's the town center. There's still 6 minutes 55 seconds left in this battle. If the attackers start... If the attackers just really focus coming over this way towards the town center... This battle could definitely be over. Which it did not look like it was going to be this way at all. Oswald one general still very much alive. 99 men left in the unit. The noble fighter general... Very much still alive. 159 men left in his unit. And yeah, they're just going to keep on moving down the streets here. Getting into more Pontic Swordsmen. We're going to get a bit of a fast forward here. Because it looks like these just these units. Oh, here comes the uh, the skirmishers are making their way over here now. We have the Nabatean Noble Cavalry General trying to get back outside of the settlement. 25 kills for him. There's a Gallic Hunter. 152 kills. Another unit of Gallic Hunters there. 61 kills. Chariot's going to, I mean not Chariot, the uh, General's going to swing all the way out over there, kill the Ballista Crew of Seleucid. But this is looking really rough. Look at this. Painted Warriors chasing away more Cretan Archers. They have zero kills. What is going on with this battle? All right, let's get into some more of this uh, brutal fight. Yeah, I mean, these Pontic Swordsmen. Hey, look at that. Pontic Swordsmen charging. Charging in onto the back of the Noble Fighter General. 116 kills. They've already routed two units of Pontic Swordsmen. Third unit is just like a... It looks like he's just trying to run away to get back to the town center. Four and a half minutes left in the battle, and there is so much... Oh, wait a second. 
Wait a second. Nabatee Noble Cavalry General making his way. Arverni saw it. Arverni saw it. Oswan General pulling back. He is going to be the line. Going to pop into square, uh, into uh, shield wall there, but I mean the Cavalry General could still just easily come around this way if he really wanted to. But look at all of the Pontic units that you shattered. 74 men in that unit, 75 men in that unit. Wow. That's crazy. Oh, the Nabataean general charged in. He charged in onto the Oswan general. Ouch. Is the Nabataean general dead? He is. What is going on with this battle? Well, the attackers now making their way into the town center. I'm going to fast forward now. Now I, I don't really know what's left to do here. What happened to Egypt? What happened to Pontus? Two minutes and 50 seconds left. The attackers are now in the town center capturing it up. They have captured the town center, so the clock countdown has now started. We have the Iberian skirmishers now coming over here, chasing away Cretan archers. The noble fighter general is just murdering more Thorax swordsmen. Oh, wait, there you go. Thorax swordsmen actually won something. They killed something. We got now more of the Iberian skirmishers chasing around over here. Egypt is now started. I don't know if that's AI. I really don't know if that's AI or if it's the player. Because the rest of his units are still all sitting up here by the wall. Minute 16, and this is going to be a capture victory. Wow. Here comes the Egypt general. He kind of made his way over here, but he stopped. It's only a, it's only a carrying axeman general. They're not they're not very good. Not a very good general unit. I mean, they're good to save money on other units, but yeah, that was very confusing. What how that battle ended like there? I mean, obviously it was a capture victory, but very confusing what happened. Very very confusing what happened. But all right, let's get in. Hyena here, three thousand five hundred and fifty seven kills. For the defending Nabatea. 59 with his general. 591, 295, 1296. Almost 1300 kills. His archers, field day. 189, 281, 161, 216. Even his, no, look at that. 112, 109, 103, 145. Very, very, very well done. His general only, unfortunately, his general only 59 kills. Uh, then we have Broken Legend here. 746 with Egypt. General 58 kills. Archers 96, 114. Thorax 112, 92, but yeah, I don't know what happened there. Egypt, only 746, didn't really move. Then we have Honey Badger here with Pontus, 1343, Cappadocian Cavalry, 32 kills. Archers, 98, 88, 106. Uh, some of it, Celtic Warriors there, 100. Pontic Swordsman, 187, 124. Reos, 191 there. Very confusing what happened to the defenders. Marketable skills here with our Arvaki, uh, sorry, 1947, 358 with his general. Amazing job on his general. Uh, 155 there with the ballista. His skirmishers not getting a whole lot. Iberian Swords 132. Other two units of noble fighters, 112, 381. So really, really this fight was done. I mean, some of his other units, but his, look at that. Three, 358, 381 with two noble fighters. That's crazy. Uh, Painted Warriors 219, 113, very nice. Scutari here, not getting a whole lot. Top unit for the Scutari was 74. Then we have Boss Prophet here with Seleucid 718, 130 with his general. Archers got completely trashed by the Nabataean uh, chariots. Silver Shield Swordsman, only 50 kills. Thorax Swordsman, 215. Yeah, that's it. 215. The rest of them, not even, not very well. And then we have Pedro Sur here, 1657. Arverni, 112 with his general. Archers 152, Celtic Warriors 127, Chosen Swords 209, 100, 326. There you go. Uh, rest of them not doing very well though. Huh? 54, 99, I guess. And the Levy Freeman there with 61. But all right, guys, there you go. That is the end of this battle replay. So, Chariots. Chariots is the name of the game in today's battle. And confusion as far as what happened to the other two defending arm, arm the, the other two defending armies. Not really sure what happened there. But, all right, guys, that is going to be the end of the battle replay here for today. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Again, make sure, please, like the video, share the video around, drop a comment down below. And, of course, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Still on the road to 10,000 subscribers. 
really getting close really getting close about 1300 subscribers left to go we got uh, about five months so let's see can we do it or can you guys do it i would deeply appreciate it and i haven't said this in a little while but if it wasn't for you guys i would be nowhere near close to where i am so but right, that is going to be the end have a good rest of your day stay safe and as always until the next one